Yellow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another cleaning video. Happy, happy Sunday. Thank you so much for being here and spending some time with me on this Sunday. I'm starting off with the laundry here. I'm getting a load just ready to go and I did quite a bit of laundry today so I really wanted to get that done. Just, um, you know, start the week fresh and new. I'm going to be doing all the things cleaning in this video so I hope that you stay a while. I'm going to be moving up into the bedrooms now and I'm going to get the linens nice and changed. So let's go ahead and jump into it. When we touch, I forget all the endings inside my head. And that rush out of us tonight we'll get there, back to heaven. guys sun has been going potty on the toilet ah! i am so freaking ecstatic like oh man i'm just i'm so happy so proud of him uh of course he's still having accidents you know that's inevitable but for the past several days he has gone potty on his little toilet and it has just been great. Um, what I've been doing is every morning when we wake up, instead of putting him in a diaper, I will put him in his little training boxers and I'll keep him in that. And literally like every five minutes, I'm reminding him, I'm like, do you got to go potty? Do you got to go potty? And often he does get annoyed. I'm not going to lie. No, no, no. But I just keep on, I stay consistent with that. And I keep on reminding him. And even sometimes like I'll ask him and he's kind of like hesitant to answer. I will put him on the toilet. Like I just will repeatedly do that just to get him used to it. And sometimes he sits on there and he doesn't do any business, which is fine. I'll just, you know, um, put his, um, his underwear back on and we'll continue on with the day. 
and you know sometimes he's sitting on there for quite a long time and then he finally goes potty but he's doing it and we are um you know in a routine when i put him down for his nap i you know obviously put him back in his diaper and then when he gets up from his nap i put him back in the underwear and then if we leave you know to the store or something like that whenever we leave uh, we leave the house i definitely put him back in his diaper and then when he get back home back in the underwear so that has been just like a good routine for us so far um you know, like I said, he is still, you know, having accidents and such, which is completely fine. I'm just super happy that he is starting to go on the toilet. And I'm just like, I'm ecstatic about that. Um, we actually, this weekend, we went to, well, actually last weekend, we went to the park. It was a beautiful park and he actually scraped his knee like three times. He fell three times and kept like re-injuring um, like re-scuffing his knee. And so when we went home, we, you know, bandaged, bandaged it up. We, um, put some Neosporin on it. And then the, what was it yesterday? We were in the house and he fell again and the scab came off and y'all, it was like dripping blood, like dripping all over the carpet and everything. I was like, oh my goodness. So we ran to the store and got like the very big band-aids to cover his knee up and that worked out really well. So we've been like putting Neosporin on it. But like, I was just like, oh my, like it was bleeding, bleeding. I was just like, oh my goodness. But another thing we did to kind of reward him is we took him to Chuck E. Cheese, which was super fun. But I must say, I can't even, I think the last time I went to Chuck E. Cheese was like when my niece was little. I want to say maybe like five or something like that. And she's 16 now. And it's kind of disappointing that... You know, son, my son is two and there really wasn't much for him to do. There was like five different cars there that he could ride on, like little, um, you know, little motorized carts. And that was pretty much it. Like, you know, he wasn't old enough to really play any games and um, wasn't really old enough to do much else. So that was kind of a bummer. But I will say it is absolutely ridiculous. The prices for one large pizza that wasn't even really a large it was twenty dollars and it did not even include a drink and then they had the, the deal that was next to that was you get a large pizza and four drinks for forty dollars i was like oh heck no so we ended up after that we we just went to mcdonald's and we got some cheeseburgers and some vanilla shakes and he was super happy with that and so were we so yeah, that's pretty much what we did uh, this weekend and it was fun. And then actually that same day we took him to the park as well. So we took him to another park. We try to switch parks, like take him to different parks, different areas and things like that just to see, you know, they have different rides and slides and all those things and swings and stuff like that. So we took him to a different park and then we went for a really nice long walk, like towards the night, like it was like 730. It was so nice, but yeah, that's pretty much how we spent our weekend. So we ran to Walmart just very quickly just to get a couple things like for the house, like chips and stuff and um, like for hubby's lunch, work lunch and just a couple things that we needed. And so I got that put up and y'all, I did not feel like doing the dishes. So I am loading the dishwasher here and just getting everything out of the sink so I can get it nice and cleaned out. I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar no boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my heart oh, No little by little here I always run Rather jump and risk the fall I see no limits in the sky No little by little here No, no, got 
stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my this Dawn dish spray. It is so versatile. You can literally use it on anything. I've used it on the countertops, the tubs, the shower, the toilet, everything. And you know what I actually did? Um, a couple of my plants do have aphids and I was going to make like a uh, mixture with soap and neem oil and what else is it going to put in water pretty much was that it i think so yeah but what i did is on one of them i kind of tested it out and this is like a plant that i've actually been thinking about parting ways with you know it is definitely okay if you guys are a plant lover i know that's like super taboo in like the plant com community to like throw plants out but i have had this plant for a while and it has given me trouble for a while and it's okay to to get rid of plants that you that like no longer bring you joy you know plants are supposed to be fun they're supposed to be something that you enjoy watching grow and and things like that but anyway all that to say i i straight up sprayed that dawn dish spray on the plant to see if it'll kill it and i mean not i wasn't purposely trying to kill the plant but i was trying to kill the disease and it has it, it's been okay so far so i mean I don't know. I, um, I watered it very well. And then I just, I sprayed the leaves and the stems. I didn't do it in the dirt, but I sprayed the leaves and the stems, you know, cause that's where the, the aphids were, um, were living and rinsed it off really well with water and it's been doing okay. So if that works, that will be like such a good resolution to get aphids or mealybugs or any other you know, um, house plant, house plant pests that you have off of your plants. So just a suggestion, I'm not saying doing it, but you know, if you, if you want to try it out, just a suggestion. 
anyway so now i am getting this this is the first load of laundry folded and i just had this one um, mainly had towels but it did have a, have a couple clothes as well so i just wanted to get that one out of the way like i said i did do a lot of laundry today i really wanted to just get it out of the way and also in this load as well were a lot of sun's um training underwear and so i wanted to get those washed what i have been doing also is just taking his underwear like and hand washing it in the sink because you know accidents are going to happen all the time and they have been happening so that has been very helpful as well so i'm not you know constantly having to do loads um so yeah i just been doing that just putting a little dish soap on it and you know like scrubbing it old school way um with my hands and just like, hanging it up for so that it could dry and also in between these loads here, I was making dinner. Um, we call it dinner, lunch and dinner. So I made some smoked sausage, like stir fry, fried rice. It was so good. It came out delicious, you guys. A little nonsense, it's what I need. Now if you want to get the best of me, I'll be smiling, that's for sure. you guys this will be the last load that I'll be doing <laughs> you know this is like the sheets and everything like I said I was just I was trying to get the laundry out of the way start the the week fresh that's always just such a good feeling you know I know a lot of people do their cleaning on Sunday so um I didn't really do much laundry throughout the week obviously so I was just getting that done so this will be the last load here I'm just getting it folded up and put away nice and neatly so that I can 
you know, just, just get it over with pretty much. Let's go. Are you ready? You've been staring since I came in. I know you want to get to know me. Uh-huh. But honestly, I came with my girls. Want to dance by ourselves. Can't you tell? Baby, baby, I have thick skin. Yeah. I don't let things get to me. But do you want me to spell it out for you right now? I'm not feeling your vibe Crystal clear that you're head over heels But don't come any closer, my dear Cause when I get mad, I cannot control what might happen You think you can Put your hands on my body I'm no damsel in distress Come too close, I might just lose it I knock you down like boom, 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 boom getting son's toys picked up and I have been looking we have been hubby and I looking at carpet cleaners and man I don't know whether I want to get a carpet cleaner that's like the cleaner and then also has the attachment or if I want to get just a carpet cleaner for the carpet and then get a like a whole I guess other unit like upholstery carpet cleaner you know like I've know I've been talking about the little the green machine the Bissell I've heard really good things or I guess read really good things about that if you guys have any suggestions if you have a carpet cleaner that works very well please let me know I would really appreciate it um I want a carpet cleaner so bad they are I mean they're expensive but it's definitely worth the investment in my opinion versus coming and getting your you know or going and getting somebody like hiring somebody to come and clean your carpets it's totally worth it I mean for one person for one time a one-time carpet clean is worth buying a machine you know um you saw me just look down there literally is a stain from sun's blood like on the carpet so we didn't have any hydrogen peroxide we're going to get some and I'm going to get that stain up I was thinking about scrubbing it with some baking soda and vinegar but I know that blood comes out very well with some hydrogen peroxide. So once I go and get some of that, I'll definitely get it up. Like that's how much he was bleeding. Like literally the whole, like, I want to say, you know, um, 
his like kneecap, like his entire kneecap was scabbed over and the whole thing ripped off and it wasn't even like it wasn't healed at all, you know? So, and I was just, I was really shocked, honestly, even when he did like initially fall, he didn't even whine or cry or anything. And when the scab ripped off, like he didn't cry. He was just like, ouch, that's all he said. I was like, man, you are just, you're a little trooper. You know that? So yeah, so I definitely want to get that, um, get that, you know, scrubbed up off of the carpet. But now that the living room is vacuumed, I'm just moving on to the, the couple of stairs here and getting that nice and vacuumed. And then I am going to move on into the front room. I did get a new plant, which I'm super excited about. And it is pretty big and I got it, um, hubby bought it for me on clearance for $30, which is also, I mean, that's a score, you know, I, I love buying plants on clearance. It's just, it's, I used to, what I used to do is I would go to Lowe's or Home Depot and I would straight up go to the clearance aisle and I would buy plants that were like almost dying, like on their last limb. And I would try to like revive them, <laughs> like bring them back to life. I don't know why that just gave me so much satisfaction. I mean, sometimes it, it worked and sometimes it didn't, you know, but yeah, that was just super fun. And a lot of times now, like when I go to the clearance racks, um, I don't really see like anything too good. You know, if I do, I'll definitely pick it up. But a lot of the times, like even the plants that they're selling now, what I've noticed, especially, you know, now in the summertime, they are super thirsty. Like, I don't know if the employees are just like in neglecting them or what, but a lot of them just don't look good. I'm taking the plants off of this bench here. You guys, I love this bench so much. I tried going, well, I did look up um, the at the furniture store where we purchased this. We purchased it at American Furniture Warehouse. They don't have any more. And it's such a bummer because this is really heavy. It's wood and metal. And I think it was like 110 bucks, something like that. So really for this, like if that's not really that expensive, um, I've seen benches that are similar on Amazon that don't look as good and are way more expensive than this. I did try looking for another one, but I have not found one. So this is the plant that I got. I'm going to show you guys here. It is a ficus umbelletta. I believe that's how you say it. U-M-B-E-L-L-A-T-A. And like I said, it was $29.99 and I love it. It's so pretty and luscious and green. And this copper like planter I got from Goodwill a while back. I believe it was like six bucks. It doesn't fit, but it's the only planter that I have that's like pretty much the size of the pot. So, um, so I just stuck it in there until, you know, I get something better. I do want to get like my Monstera, the, um, the pot, the planter that I have, I, I bought that from Walmart and I want to get another one for this plant. So I'm just kind of rearranging things and you will see that I end up moving this on the other side of the, um, of the plant shelves. But, and I wanted to show you guys also my string of hearts. It has gotten so big. I actually chopped this all the way down. I was going to throw it out, to be honest, because I didn't think it was going to grow back, but it did. So I eventually found a spot for this as well. Why did I stay? I should be leaving. Hey, what I say without even speaking. My compass is off. Why did I choose you? I'm just too lost, I need to cut loose I keep it in my head, I keep it locked away My friends think that this is over Guess it's the price I pay, played with the enemy Now I got you on my shoulders Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love Let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let me love again. Let go and let me let me love, let me let me let go and let me let me love, let me love again. Let go and let me let me love, let me let go and let me let me let go and let me let me love again. Why did I stay? I should be leaving. Let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me let go and let me let go and let me love
and cleaned and wiped down it smells amazing in here you already know i put some of that pine saw in that mop bucket thank you guys so much for being here if you are new hey i hope that you consider subscribing for all things cleaning content and if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for being here i'll see you guys soon bye